hey, uh, check out what it was like in 1960 and uh, how technology developed in my lifetime. An amazing, amazing journey. And so, uh, so wonderful to live in a world with all these conveniences. I was born at the dawn of electronic technology. I was born before the invention of the cell phone, the personal computer, and the internet. Evolving technology has changed our lives in so many ways, changes that we benefit from every hour of every day. It was a lot different world when I was a kid. There were no cell phones, no texting, no selfies, no surf in the net, no net, come to think of it. The telephones we had were attached to the wall in our house. They had a rotary dial, which meant it took a long time to dial a number. It was expensive to call long distance, so you had to say your piece quickly, and if you couldn't get through, it was because the one you were calling was already on the phone with someone else. So you got this annoying, cranky, buzzing sound called a busy signal, as if the phone company was telling you to buzz off. No 911 either. You had to look in the phone book for the correct number for the ambulance, fire, or police department's phone. You had to choose which one to call. To get the correct time, you had to call time. 51212. A recording would say, At the tone, the time will be 554 and 10 seconds. Then there would be a pause and a loud beep. No amber alerts either. We were technological toddlers then. We kept learning and growing and discovering new things, new ways. When I entered the business world as a young man in the early 1980s, I had the state-of-the-art equipment. A car phone, as we called it. I also had a portable computer, not a laptop. This thing wouldn't fit on your lap. It was like carrying around a big, heavy turtle. It had a set of floppy disks with an early version of Excel, I think and I put formulas in it to monitor the giant car wash between where they welded the cars together and where they painted them in an auto factory in New Jersey. It was great fun. I had a portable printer, too. <laughs> I remember walking up the stairs three stories with my car phone and my computer and my printer. I couldn't leave it in my office overnight. Someone might steal it, and it was very expensive stuff. But I backpacked with a lighter load. And back then there were pay phones. You had to put in a coin. It didn't take bills. A recording would interrupt the call while you were talking if you had to buy more time by adding coins. If you ran out of change, you'd lose the call. Hotels had a racket where if you used a landline phone in your room, they would add on a surcharge to the already ridiculously high rates. You could get a price break by calling after 10 p.m., Pay-per-minute internet and cellular coverage fees were something that could get easily out of hand. My daughter discovered texting while using her first cell and didn't know what it cost. We got the first bill, and it was over $1,000. Early internet was paid for in the same way, by however long you used it. You'd get a monthly bill from AOL or Prodigy or CompuServe, sometimes for hundreds of dollars if you didn't watch your minutes. Same with car phones, by the way. They were expensive, and it was expensive to use them. And the Internet was slower than a traffic jam. Graphics were a new thing, very simple and yet very slow to load. There were no videos online. Think of the Internet minus videos. Wow, we've come so far. What a luxury to have what we have now, to use your cell or computer without worrying and hurrying because the bill is getting bigger and bigger. It's not. Costs have been driven down by innovation and efficiency, by competition and a desire to make things better and better. Things keep improving in the tech world. It has always been this way, and we can surmise that it will continue to improve our lives and amaze us. Technology is a key component in our amazing world.